again for some uh, early season coho. I'm going to head out to a uh, remote coastal river and hopefully uh, yeah, get into some wild coho on the fly. I've uh, been there before and know that uh, yeah, it's been usually pretty successful uh, and uh, the coho really seem to uh, be aggressive towards a, a swung fly with a little bit of a twitch. So um, yeah, I'm going to head out there. Uh, the river is actually uh, not a big river. Uh, so due to the, the circumstances, um, you can actually take a bigger jet or a bigger jet boat, the Thunder Jet, and on the Thunder Jet, a, a smaller Zodiac with a 25 horse jet to, uh, to get up the smaller river. So see how um, see how that works. Usually it's pretty good. Uh, I can push it over any uh, log jams and uh, get up through any of the ripples and not walk it up even if I have to, to get up to some of the prime uh, fishing areas. So yeah, pretty excited. Uh, uh, so you uh, river for a few few weeks a year is, is uh, good conditions, prime time for this. It's been raining lots, so I uh, actually had a, about a day and a half of no rain. So the river will probably be high, but hopefully dropping and uh, hopefully some new coho moved in and they're uh, staging in some of the pools. So yeah, I'll keep you posted and uh, let you know how it uh, goes at the end of the day. Nothing better than catching them on the fly. Uh, you're almost swinging the fly with a slight twitch. Um, that twitch drives them crazy and then wham. And nothing like those acrobatic coho. They come up, jumps, flips, rolls. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. But uh, you know, you have to put in the time and the effort to get out here to get to these places. Uh, nobody else around. Basically have this whole river to myself uh, fishing today. And uh, what can I say? There's, there's other species in here. There's some chums and pinks. Uh, as well today but uh, mainly targeting uh, the coho going to the runs that I know have them uh, where they're you know, where they're stacked up and yeah so uh, I think it'll be a pretty good day today for uh, for, uh, for coho um, and, and wildlife uh, I think I've seen four or five bears already today uh, they're out fishing as well and uh, yeah we seem to get along all right out here uh, yeah there's something about coho you know you get that hook set and uh, away they go. They're so acrobatic, right to the surface right away. That's how you know you have a coho. They're up and out of the water doing backflips and jumps and barrel rolls. And it's pretty exciting stuff uh, when you hook a coho. 
you know, on the fly, there's there's really nothing like it. Uh, you know, right up there with Steelhead, uh, some pretty good fights. Those those coho are fresh. Uh, lots of ones today with sea lice on them, so those are uh, fresh fish that have just come in. And uh, yeah, a little bit of silkiness, a little bit of color. We've been getting lots of rain lately, and. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually helped it. Uh, you know, you can catch multiple fish in one pool without spooking it due to the uh, the colored water. And yeah, a big uh, profiled, uh, you know, high profiled fly, you know, something dark uh, that really stands out in the water seems to be working today. I, I like red, but you know, even the blacks and the purples, I think, uh, stand out pretty good today. And, and uh, you yeah, have no problem or that no problem. Here.